Hey Lollapoos! <laughs> so I'm back with Maggie and I am sick of seeing her in pinks and I really want to see her in something of diff different colors. I really want to buy her some more red outfits. I think red would be really nice on her. She needs more light. Where is the light? But anyway, um, so in the end video we were kind of talking about, look at that, see she looks good in blue. This is cute, but it's white and blue, so I don't know. Should I put her on this? This is really cute, too. I'm going to put her on this one because I really like the way it pops. Um, but I, we were talking about kits and, like, you know, looking for sold-out rare uh, kits. The prices, people tend to um, jack the price up because you can't get it. And so, um, of course... You know that makes the value go up and a lot of people think that's not fair and that it's a ripoff and stuff but even though I turned down buying a kit um, her kit was up and someone wanted they were trying to sell it to me for 400 and I said no that's okay you know um, I don't think that that's bad I think that that is one of the things that goes with collecting because in any other hobby if you were collecting something and it was rare and sold out the price would go up so I don't I don't actually frown on it it just depends on what I'm gonna do with the kit so basically I was gonna paint the kit for myself and being that I'm not gonna recoup any of that kit money back I just didn't think it was worth it enough to me to buy a second kit when I I do at least have one had I not been able to get my hands on not one I probably would have said okay um, and negotiate it but being that I already had one it's not that important to me at the time so that's why I was like no 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 and then another one was offered at me to for 350 um I'm just not willing to pay for certain ones like that but she is definitely a very lovely baby and definitely sculpted by one of my favorite sculptors which is Natalie Blake and so I definitely think it's worth it and I don't frown on it so that's my opinion on that I don't know what you guys think about it um her kit was originally $115 free shipping <laughs> and so $400 is like paying like you know $285 and what $85 more something like that I don't know my math might be off but still, it's like, that's quite a bit, you know what I mean? Um, but it's it's okay. I paid more for my Knox. Um, there are certain kits that I've paid more for. Um, one time I paid um, for a kit that I ended up selling for just the kit price alone. When I first started painting, I thought I really loved the kit until I got it and I hated it. Um... And it was, I paid $200 for it when Matt Fearson was selling them for $80, but they didn't have any in stock and they didn't know when it was going to be and it was going to be a long time. And go figure, after I got the kit, got it, sh it got shipped, started working on it, um, Matt Fearson finally miraculously got in a shipment of the kit. And there was $80 kit that I just paid $200 for that I absolutely did not like. <laughs> so, I'm very careful about which kits I will invest that amount of money on. But this kit is definitely a keeper. Rather you can get it painted already or just, I just really like it. Um, like I said, she does have some, some doll-like qualities to her in, to a certain extent for me if you know you just she has to be painted right and dressed right and posed right like because her legs are more straight like it sometimes it reminds me of you know kind of on the dolly end but mm -mm. maggie is maggie marie all my baby's middle name usually be marie <laughs> but i just can see myself saying maggie marie you stop throwing tantrums i can see her like but she's a sweet baby. She's going to be a sweet baby. She's like baby Serena. You remember baby Serena? Baby Serena always was the peacemaker in the nursery. She always was the the voice of reason. 
That's my Maggie. Maggie is sweet. Look at those little eyes. She is just so adorable, guy. Like I, and I experimented with her skin tone on her because I knew I was getting. See, that's why what y'all don't understand. And I think, and I keep stressing this because some of you guys go in these forums and y'all rip artists apart and y'all don't understand some of the madness. So I knew I was getting Cody Poo and I knew kind of what color I wanted to get to him. But I was like, okay, so I painted my Maggie in a similar range and I wanted to try some different mixes of colors because um, I've painted babies like similar but like they to me sometimes they have a little bit more yellow in them than I want and stuff so I wanted to see how I can get it more fleshy if that makes sense so that's what I was trying to do without going darker because I tend to go darker and so Maggie came out like perfect like she's she's the perfect color that I was trying to get like I was so happy with myself so it that's you know so she was like my practice piece for this one. <laughs> so I'm always like trying to, you know, think ahead. And I say this one, meaning Cody Bear. And I want to show him his head is being rooted. But like I said, I showed him in the other video. But just to show him again, my Cody Bear. Cody Bear, Cody Bear. I love the way, I love the way Laura sculpted this baby. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Cody Bear is um, Cody by Laura Tutoras. So, so you guys will see a lot more of him once he's done. But I think they're going to make great siblings, though. What do you guys think? I think they would. And so, if I get to a point where I can't sell the prototype, <laughs> I will promise you guys that I will make another one. Because I'm definitely going to order more kits during the pre-order so I'll be right there with you guys ordering but I won't do the same as that color I never I just I just don't like it I just think that it's just so unfair to the mommy when you duplicate their baby like your baby should be unique to you so I try my hardest not to do that even if they may look close on camera so like if you see her by herself and then you see Cody by himself, you might be like, oh, she's the same color as Cody. But then when you put Cody next to her, you can easily see, oh, they're not the same color. I mean, they're clothes, but they're not the same color. So um, even with the details as far as the coloring in the palms of their hands, the palms of the bottom of their feet, that type stuff, you know, the veining, the mottling, he has more modeling than her, believe it or not. He has a different kind of modeling, so to speak. And she doesn't have, do you? No, she doesn't have as, she doesn't have many veins. She's a little veiny in the forehead. Girl, you ain't got no veins. She does, she has some veins. I do see some veins. But I think he has, yeah, she does have veins. Okay, I was about to lie, but she does have some veins, but neither one of them are very veiny babies, but they do have veins, so. But yeah, she doesn't have a lot. So, anyway, that is it, and I hope you guys, let me know what you think about her in blue. I think this looks really good. Blue looks really good on her. I'm going to put her on some shoes, too. So I'm going to put her on some socks, and I'm actually going to put her on some shoes. I'm not going to put her on sandals. I'm going to put her on some, y'all know, some baby new shoes and a headband and call it a day i actually like her ball too but she's gonna get hair she's gonna get hair she's gonna get um i don't know i'm now that i'm looking at her head ball i may do something a little different that's not expected with her hair i don't know i may switch the game up on you guys with with her like i did with phoebe i didn't I know a lot of people always expect you know, oh, biracial, must have curly. You know, everything has to be curly. It has to be thick. If it's black, it's, you know, it's like these stereotypes. And maybe, yeah, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll give her straight hair. Maybe not. We will see. We will see what this little one look like. You guys know I can't wait. It's like I'm always waiting for a spot from um, Sentimental Babies. Like, I'm on her 
forever wait list. <laughs> so as soon as um, she is available to root this one, then I will be sending her to her. Because I really, I really, really um, love the way that she she roots the babies and how the the hair lays and stuff. I gotta I gotta get it together and do better. I I'm I can't I've not finished the one that I started and I was like okay I'm a root in between on that with the final head and I just can't finish it and I I need to finish it because I I don't I need to decide if Bree is gonna be a keeper baby and I think she is but I I just I'm like save yourself money and root it yourself but it just don't ever work out. Anyway, you need your eyes cleaned. I don't do much with their eyes as far as cleaning goes because when they go off to get rooted and when they come back, like that, those are her little eyes. That's, look at me, say look at me. Oh my gosh, I love her. Anyway guys, so, but if you guys do have a Mackie out there, just FYI, and you're not like charging a extreme price, <laughs> I would be still interested. But if you are trying to make a profit off of it, I understand, no offense, I just can't afford it right now. But definitely guys, if you see someone selling it and it's new and not been touched, the eyes haven't been cut out and all that stuff, definitely I'm still interested. So see you guys later.